Uh, hello everyone and welcome to another audio uh, and podcast um, on the series um, The Storm Focus V2. This is um, an audio podcast um, on the Scientist Encore. This, um, uh, this um, audio podcast um, in collaboration um, with the Renal Patient Support Group, the RPSG, um, uh, look at, um, looks at uh, healthcare scientists um, and educational support. And this is uh, based on a, a peer review publication that was uh, published in the Turkish Journal of Nephrology. Um, and it's an or- original article. And um, I'm going to um, sort of surmise uh, a little bit of this um, uh, in context of um, what's been um, uh, uh, highlighted in, in, in abstract, in the abstract of this um, peer review publication. So um, the full the full title of this particular publication is there a need for healthcare scientists and educational support surrounding chronic kidney disease. So the objective was um, was thus um, patient access to information or educational support to supplement their understanding of laboratory um, um, laboratory and test parameters remains challenging because because of the medical and scientific terminology. The challenges have led to exploration of new and efficient ways of approaching educational and information support for patients with long term conditions such as chronic kidney disease. And this um, this particular study aims to explore the perspectives on educational support surrounding chronic kidney disease laboratory investigations from a sample um, of um, the renal patient support group, i.e. those uh, members, uh, members of the renal patient support group who um, uh, were involved um, in uh, contributing to uh, polls, I believe, in this work. Um, So the materials and methods around this, the research um, uh, team conducted five different polls, actually, from from January 2018 to July 2018, so just over six months, via the Renal Patient Support Group's um, closed um, social media platform to help understand the importance of healthcare scientists, educational support, and laboratory tests and investigations. The target of this um, study was to seek at least a, a thousand responses from at that time, because um, I believe now the Renal Patient Support Group, the RPSG, has has, has um, grown in its members. But at this time, uh, uh, to seek out a thousand responses from 8,000 members um, that were um, were part of the membership at that time. Um, of the of the social media platform. So um, the results of this were were thus a total of 574 RPSG members participated in these polls representing um, about a 7% um, uh, response rate. So almost 10% uh, response rate, um, but um, just a little bit less. 77% uh, of the respondents uh, agreed that access to healthcare scientists in primary care would be advantageous. Uh, when asked about what technology and solutions are available through uh, general practitioners um, uh, uh, by, the, by the GP um, or a transplant unit, a, um, a portal allowing access to medical records and laboratory results scored the highest uh, with about 26%, um, almost 30%. Uh, respondents selecting this uh, re- uh, respondents selecting that particular choice in in the poll that was um, uh, de- um, sort of co-developed um, assessing a remote healthcare uh, scientist um, uh, through a computer or application was select was also selected by 33 percent um, of those who contributed to the polls um, um, and then CKD patients um, what was highlighted from from the results as well, CKD patients uh, can get confused regard- with uh, regards to the laboratory investigations um, accessed by a mix, uh, a, a mix of healthcare professionals, and thus um, healthcare scientists um, uh, should educate uh, patients about um, the different laboratory tests and investigations. So that's what was highlighted in the results, and the overall conclusion around this work was the the polls conducted. Um, um, added value to an important topic of healthcare scientists' involvement in educating chronic kidney disease patients about laboratory investigations. Currently, there is more scope for healthcare scientists to provide support to um, chronic kidney disease patients with smarter education regarding laboratory uh, investigation and the different parameters. Um, If anyone wants to search out this work, again, uh, check out the uh, work via or through the Renal Patient Support Group, the RPSG. 
um, and um, this work again is um, peer reviewed and it's accessible actually um, from the Turkish uh, Journal of Nephrology. Um, so uh, feel free to check that out um, at, at your own at your own leisures. Uh, thank you for listening and um, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we've got another audio podcast, um, another exciting audio podcast uh, coming up. Thank you very much.